A Jacksonville man is back home where he was nearly killed 60 years ago, all because of the color of his skin. As our Andrew Badillo explains, it's a story that's gone untold until now. At the corner of Owen and Gilmore sits 3259 Gilmore. We lived on the corner. 60 years ago, Donald Godfrey and his mother, Iona King, I worried about him, lived at 3259 Gilmore yeah. until February 16th, 1964. So they drove around. Early in the morning, members of the KKK rolled dynamite under Donald's home. If it hadn't rolled completely to the other side, I would think my mom, somebody would have been killed. This is 3259 Gilmore in February 1964. We couldn't get to the kitchen from the front door. Godfrey's home was bombed because he is black and was the first black student to attend the now closed Lackawanna Elementary School. Mothers, I guess they were waiting for their children or whatever, but they were berate us. Godfrey said the school or city never reached out to his family after the bombing. His story unearthed recently by local historian Tim Gilmore. A documentary followed. I was very much intrigued by your story. 60 years later, city leaders invited Godfrey to City Hall. What is it that it was intriguing to you? I knew nothing about it. Huh. Yeah, that's the answer I keep hearing. An answer he hopes to change in his new book, Living Freedom to Find Peace. Writing the book was therapeutical. Donald tells his story at 3259 Gilmore and of his new home, Africa, a story he thinks can help others. Black Americans or Africans have been traumatized for 500 years. In my opinion, you have to address that trauma. In Jacksonville, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News, on your side. And City Council Member Tyrona Clark Murray says she plans to create a resolution to honor Godfrey and apologize for the city's lack of action at the time of the bombing.